In today's video, we are going to be talking about insecurities and plastic surgeries and things I might get done in the future. Hi guys, it's Adeze and in today's video, we are going to be talking about insecurities and plastic surgeries and things I might get done in the future. So I have a note here where I um, just this stuff stuff I'm going to talk about because whenever I'm doing sit down and talk videos and if I don't get things listed I'll just end up rambling and the video will just be like that. This is the second time trying to film this video and I hope this one goes well. Um, do make sure to subscribe and like only if you like what you see because I don't really want to demand subscribers. Okay, so um, everybody's not perfect. For sure, nobody is perfect. Nobody is born perfect. Everybody has their own insecurities, and just like everybody else, I too do. When I was younger, I mean, thank God for the internet. I wouldn't say the internet contributed in making me insecure. I'm not insecure at all. Not by any means. Like if I'm doing anything just because if I have the money, I just want to just do it for doing sake. But instead, the internet kind of showed me that. You could actually fix your insecurities and you could actually get work done. Um, for example, we have YouTube here yeah, where you could actually watch somebody get a whole Brazilian butt lift. You can watch someone get a nose job. At least you kind of have an idea of what you are going for. So for me, I'm going to be talking about things that I feel insecure about. Um, for some people, they'll be like, why, why would you not insecure by any means? But I mean, there's nothing wrong. I mean, you only live once, so I'm just saying this. I might get plastic surgery. I might not. This is just for, this is just for the banter. Um. So the first thing, I mean, definitely, the first thing that I would, by the way, I'm scared of surgeries. I'm scared of needles. So I'm scared of being under anesthesia and staying for like over four hours and getting work done on my body. But the first thing that I would do if I if I'm if I'm eventually going to get plastic surgery is getting a Brazilian butt lift. So this is what I'm getting a Brazilian butt lift. Definitely not implant, not silicone. I am shaped like sponge. I'm just kidding. I just I wanted to say I'm shaped like SpongeBob, but that's not true. But I wish I was just more curvy. Um, I don't really have curves. I think curves would be nice. Um, the, re the only thing I have with plastic surgery is that I feel like now on the internet a lot of girls look alike like a lot of girls are cloned because I don't want my body to look like this other person's body like whenever I see a girl with plastic surgery with Brazilian body you just know you just know and I wouldn't really want to you know look like somebody else but I feel like I just might or I might not or, I mean, thank God for other procedures. They are non-invasive procedures like um, non-invasive procedures like both vacuuming and other means of enhancing with modern technology. Of course, it doesn't need to be surgical. The second insecurity, <laughs> the number one, actually, this is number one. It's my gap teeth. I don't like it. Don't people like it? If you notice, I don't smile in pictures. Apart from the fact that I have resting bitch face, I just don't like smiling. Part of the reason is because of my teeth. And I don't think they are that bad, but I don't really like it. I need veneers, and veneers are actually so beautiful. Like, you guys that have natural, I have a good dentition. My problem is just my gap. I'm definitely going to get veneer. I feel like that will be this. That, among this entire list, veneers are the things that I am sure of. Like, I'm 100% sure. Oh. And I watched the procedure of getting a veneer, and it's actually not bad. It's not even like a surgery because you are awake the whole time. They just numb your mouth while they're while they're getting it done. So definitely, I'm going to put pictures. Like while I'm talking about this thing, I'm going to be putting pictures of what of what this stuff means. I've watched lots of videos about veneer procedures and. The, um, after results and they are really really beautiful the, the last two stuff on my list 
did something that is just so funny and I don't feel like I put this here just for putting sake because just because um actually my guess is actually my guess is like I feel like I'm that kind of person that when I have money I'm not just going to hold back hold back because I saw a quote that says in pigeon it says um as if they make money try to spend life no life not so plenty so it just basically means you only do once and if you can get this nice thing for yourself then why not the stuff i'm talking about is getting my cupid bow more defined i mean we all know rihanna we all know how beautiful her cupid bow is it's so unique and i always wonder if it's natural or if she got it more defined because i found out that you can actually get your cupid bow defined if you want but it's actually so beautiful i'm also thinking about getting chain fillers because using right now as an example again you guys see how our chin is more defined and more pointed they look so beautiful and the last on my list this one is just so funny because i didn't even know anything like this existed until i watched a video by gabby fancy vlogs by gab and she recently got a ponytail surgery and a ponytail surgery that is what Gigi, you know um, bella had it got and it's where they do surgery on your face and your face is just high up like like you know where you do ponytails how high up your um face looks so that is what the ponytail surgery is like and once again, I'm not insecure. I'm not by any means rushing to do this. I'm just, these are things that I would, if I should ever get work done on my body, these are the things that I would definitely get. For the number one thing I'm sure I'm going to get is veneers. Getting my, getting veneers in my seats. I can't really wait for that one. <sighs> what are your insecurities? Do you have, any, I mean, we all do. Or maybe not insecurities, but what do you wish you would change? Um, let me know in the comment section. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.